You know, temptation is, is something that we all live with. And sometimes it's something simple like taking a sup, second helping of food that we really don't need or, or maybe going a little faster than we're supposed to on the highway or... But you know, sometimes it's more serious than that. I mean, really doing something that we shouldn't do. Um, there's, there's substance abuse, uh, there's uh, a, a romantic fling, there's stealing. Um, I mean, there's just so many different ways that temptation uh, strikes. And sometimes the, the results are harmful to ourselves and other times we hurt someone else or maybe even someone we love. Somebody pointed out that, that temptations can be a lot like hypnosis. You know, we, we know we're not supposed to do something, but we seem unable to avoid that temptation. You know, we, we see the pleasure or the gain or the, the fun or whatever, but then we don't see the, the other side. We don't see the damage or the pain or any of that. Well, you know, one way we, we think about temptations is our own ability or to get, to get in trouble, I guess, or, or uh, you know, our own lack of ability to avoid temptations. But, but, but then, you know, the Bible talks about Satan. Satan being a, some kind of spiritual entity that, that tempts us to go astray. Like, like, if you're like me, you don't need any help being tempted to go astray. Um, but Satan's in there and, and he's something else. Now, I like to hunt deer. So one way to think of Satan is, is, is like a master hunter. You know, like, like we would study the, the path of the deer and we get our deer blind set up and then we got our no scent clothing and, and uh, get our trail cams out and, and all this stuff. Or you fishermen are similar. I am not much of a fisherman, so I can't talk much about it. But anyway, Satan's kind of like this master hunter. He studies us. He sees what we do, what our habits are, where we're, we're strong, and then he sees where we have our weak moments. He, he gets in his camouflage, and, and he gets up in his tree stand where we can't see him. He, he has his scent-blocking clothes on so we can't smell him. And then he puts out the bait pile, right? He puts out the, the, the food so we, we come sniffing around. Friends, the game is stacked against us. And if you look around the world and our country, you can see the results of Saint, Satan's efforts in our own weaknesses. But, but there's a champion that is on our side. Jesus has conquered Satan and the forces of evil. Jesus has withstood the temptations of life. And Jesus is on our side. He's knocking on our door just waiting to give us that helping hand to avoid temptation. And that's why one of our core values at Calamo is loving God and sharing the good news. When we trust in Jesus and follow him, he gives us the strength to resist the temptations in our life. The ones that Satan wants to add to the list, right? And so when we let Jesus into our heart, he fills our heart with peace and joy, and we become beacons of his love to those around us. And that's what our message is about this week. Check it out. I hope you'll find it useful.